Hi, I'm Andy from Ask F5, and today I'll be showing you how to create a device group for your big IP devices. A device group is a collection of big IP devices that are configured to securely synchronize their big IP configuration data, and if configured to do so, fail over to a peer device when necessary. You can create one of two kinds of device groups, a sync failover device group or a sync only device group. A sync failover device group contains big IP devices that synchronize configuration data and support traffic groups for failover purposes. Note that for high availability configurations, this is the type of device group you want to configure. A sync only device group contains devices that synchronize configuration data but do not synchronize their failover objects. You can only synchronize devices that are running the same version of the big IP software. For more information, see these articles linked below. Before creating a device group, you should set up the configuration synchronization or config sync address and the failover IP addresses for each system you want to include in your device group. To learn how to do that, see this video. The steps to create the device group are the same for both types. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll show how to create a sync failover group so that any of the devices in the group can fail over to the others if they become unavailable. After you log into the configuration utility on one of the devices in your local trust domain, Go to Device Management, Device Group, and click Create. Enter a name for the device group. For Group Type, click Sync Failover. If you're creating a Sync Only group, click Sync Only. In the Available list, click the names of the devices you want to add to the device group and move them to the Includes list. For sync type, click the appropriate synchronization type. The default is manual with incremental sync. You can also have the system automatically synchronize and you can determine whether you want an incremental or a full sync. There are several things to consider about this setting and you can learn more about it by searching for Big IP Device Service Clustering Administration on Ask F5. Then click Finished. That's all you need to do. Your device group is set up. That's it. If you have any questions or ideas for other videos, please leave a comment or send us an email. Thank you for watching.